You can weld with this thing. What's up ladies and gentlemen YouTube everybody out there it's Philip 20 check it out uh, this is a mock-up of what I'm trying to put together you can see this is very similar this is an eighth inch thick aluminum uh, it's two inch wide I'm scoring it with a, a die grinder on both sides what I'll do is I'll knock off the edges try to round it off to where it won't actually I want to round it off to where it's inside of the blue. You could be able to see the blue so it wouldn't actually touch a corner very easily. So, So ladies and gentlemen, I've put the capacitor together and here it is in its fame and glory, the super capacitor. Uh, I have tested this in a car and it does start the car. I will show and demonstrate how that works. But first, I want to show you guys how to charge your capacitor. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab your electric meter and you're going to check the voltage, DC current, positive, negative. And this says 132 millivolts, which is totally fine. But what we want to do is connect <clears throat> the negative terminal right here. And it, it just needs to be touching. It don't have to be real strong, just touching. And then the positive terminal. Now what it'll do is it'll send electrons through this as a negative circuit this voltage will continue to rise if we can catch that on camera so we we see our voltage is actually going up in the correct direction the correct polarity you can see here it's now at 216 millivolts and rising this is the safest way to uh, charge a capacitor bank. So, you can see our our <clears throat> let's see if I can get the 
better connection. So this will charge up until the light turns off, which I don't recommend using a fluorescent light because it's really efficient. It doesn't consume much energy. <clears throat> Once this reaches the maximum voltage, this will act as a normal positive circuit, equal balance to the battery. So basically you're balancing this with a battery but you're balancing all of them at the same time. And I want to do the balancing very slow on this particular project, but if he was charging, you'd want to have something that's a bit faster at charging. So this is going to take uh, 15, 20 minutes to charge up completely by using something that's real efficient. This is a five watt LED, uh, this is a five watt lamp. So you'd want to use something like uh, some kind of a, headlight or something for a car and put it in the circuit between the battery positive for the positive part of the light goes into the light negative goes to the positive side of the bat capacitor bank and that will slowly charge up your battery so you can see it's going up it's 532 533 millivolts so it's going to run up and we're going to let it charge. So this battery pack doesn't hold a whole lot of power and it discharges pretty quickly uh, after about a few hours. <clears throat> it will discharge below a starting point for a car. Um, this thing works pretty well for starting a car once the voltage is high at 12 volts let's just say <clears throat> but it don't do too well unless the voltage is up higher right now it's got enough voltage to uh, power this light and it'll power it for probably about 10 or 15 minutes uh, before it discharges down <clears throat> so it won't sustain power but it'll it'll run it for a period of time so <clears throat> to go ahead and add to it this thing has a lot of energy I mean it you can weld with this thing so you can see right here it's welded on that and it, it, it can it can do some work you can see here it you know scarred up the outside it <clears throat> you can technically weld with these things it, it's got a lot of amps that it can go through which is pretty good for starting a car which is cool so this is pretty much the beginning of it uh, I'm gonna put the battery box together I've got a battery box here right there it's gonna hold this little tiny thing you know compared I'll just sit in there and let you so that's how big it looks so that's pretty much it so far right here on this project uh, <clears throat> the next part of this is what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to build a balancing circuit and charging sustaining circuit it's going to be really cool and really simple I believe it's going to work really well stay tuned for the next video see you guys next time peace Hello ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.